Hey guys, Ryan Erlacher here, lawbodybiker.com. This is just a quick live. I'm going to give you my thoughts. Let me see. I'm trying to, it's live and it's only 720p, but I'll at least try to get some decent lighting for you guys. So today, um, in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that I know about the WIM, the Wireless Headset Interface Module by Hardy Davidson Motorcycle. I've already done some videos on it. I've already told you what my thoughts are on the Harley tax and how I'm not very satisfied with what Harley did. Um, they paired with Senna to make uh, the whim and some headsets. I'm gonna get more in detail, but hopefully this will just be uh, information filled for you guys. If you're not interested in wireless connectivity to your boombox, this is not the video for you, you're gonna be bored. But if you are wondering, or if you're on the edge of whether you should buy the whim, it's a very expensive proposition. You know, whether you should be pissed at Hardy, whether you should not be pissed at Hardy. What's up from uh, Southeast Kansas, Devin Lumley. Hey, thanks for checking in. Got a whole bunch of viewers here. It's gonna be action packed. I'm gonna get right to the point. That's what I'm trying to do here, guys, is help bikers uh, worldwide. It's been a long day. We filmed all day. We actually filmed an install. We only purchased a whim so that we could install it for you guys. San Diego, Michael Stevenson, hey, shout out. Um, so, we only purchased the whim because you guys requested it. We want to get more information on it. We don't want you guys to waste your money out there. We want you to have, you know, we want you to spend your money on stuff that's actually going to make a difference and not throw your money away, so to speak. So me and Grunt, uh, Brian White, he also helps run the Law Biting Biker store. Uh, he also helps me film stuff. He was actually the mechanic today. Um, but we bought this whim and we finally got around in between everything else to installing it. So let me tell you about the whim. Um, David Hetzel, Asheville, North Carolina, shout out. So let me tell you about the whim a little bit more. So if you were thinking you're on the edge, um, I just tell you up front, beware. So here's the deal. The boom box was invented in late 2013. Uh, they put it in 2014 in newer Harley Davidson motor motorcycle. That's the boom box infotainment system. That system was built by Harman Kardon for Harley Davidson. Harman Kardon failed, completely failed. They never uh, built it with a headset profile. So it's built with a hands-free profile, which means I can pair my iPhone with my boombox and I can play music and all those kinds of things. It was really designed for a wired headset solution which we do sell some great wired solutions in our store. Anything I talk about, I'll link to in the description below. Um, wired solution is still a very good option. It gives you full functionality. But when I talk about headset profile, they didn't build the boom box with it in, so you could never pair directly. I say directly. There's been hacks and workarounds. Never directly from a headset to a uh, boom box. So Harley... Finally, after what, three, four years now, I got, I was one of the first ones to have the boom box in the US. I bought a 2014 model in late 2013. Um, so, uh, so the boom box has been out since then. And what, three years later, almost four years later, Harley's finally figuring out, yeah, we failed. So they worked with Senna, who is one of the leaders in Bluetooth headset technology. I love Senna products. We actually sell Senna products in our very own law biting biker store. Um, they paired with Senna and they started developing the WIM. Now, uh, let me talk about the WIM first and then I'll tell you another solution that I think is better. But, so the WIM basically is a Bluetooth transmitter receiver. I want to be very clear, this is the information you have to understand. We have lots of people in the field testing, we've tested, you will not get. So we all have Senna headsets, right? The, the 20S headsets, the 10Us, in fact, right here in my showy Neotech uh, helmet. I have an integrated Senna 10U headset. I love it because it doesn't hang on the outside. I hate the 20S, me personally. It's a great headset, but it, it hangs on the outside of the helmet and Senna's really come a long ways and they're integrating them. They make one for the Schubert, the Senna, the Arai helmets. So they're all inside, nothing's hanging out and it's really made for this helmet. I love that. Um, I don't want a 20S hanging on the outside. Make no mistake about it after our testing and all our reports through the field. The only way that you will get stereo sound from the whim, of course, you're going to pay a lot for the whim. Um, by the way, the video that we filmed today hopefully will be out this week if you do want to install the whim so you can save money and do it yourself. It's right free on this channel, guys, so make sure you're subscribed. Um, but the only way you will get complete 
stereo sound, which who doesn't want to, who listens to mono sound anymore, okay? Um, is if you buy the whim and you buy a Harley Davidson stamped Senna headset. Senna makes the headsets, they make the whim for Harley. If it is not stamped and you don't buy it from Harley Davidson, your regular Senna 10U like I just showed you or your regular Senna 20S, they will have mono sound and it sounds like crap. Mono sound sucks, it's a deal breaker. Okay, the reason Harley's doing that, uh, again, this is all in my opinion, I don't have any of the complete inside. Um, of course, Harley wants to sell you the whim to correct a pro their problem because they misdesigned the boombox in the first place and now they want to sell you the whim so that you can fix a problem that shouldn't have been a problem in the first place. And not only that, now they're gonna force you to buy their stamped headset. And again, I love Harley Davidson. I love my Harley. I'm not trying to trash Harley, guys. Um, of course, some guys saying on there, yeah, wait, wait, baby, LOL. Um, yeah, they want you, they're forcing you into buying their headset. Um, here's another thing that has been a question. So Harley on their Boombox software update site, right, where you update your Boombox software and your dealer maps and all that kind of stuff, they've now added a new tab. It says wireless headset, I believe. Um, I'll link to it in the description below later, guys. You can go there and you can get the downloads for the Harley Davidson. Of course, everything looks just like Senna. So if you guys have ever used the desktop manager for Senna where you update your headset software and all that, um, <laughs> I, sorry, I saw Ross Tomes, Harman Kardon spelled backwards, do not install a Harley. So um, so the, the desktop application looks exactly the same, except it has a Harley logo. So Senna made a desktop application. You get it all on this Harley page and you can download updated uh, software for the Senna 20S stamped Harley headset and you can download WIM update software. Of course, in the video we're gonna release, we show you how to do all this. But a lot of guys think, well, what if I take my regular Senna 20S that's not a Harley brand and I take that software and I update the Harley 20S software into my regular 20S headset? Eh doesn't work guys we tried it you will still get mono sound again the only way you will get stereo is to buy the whim completely and buy a harley stamp 20s headset we've tried it we tried manipulating things um they have it locked down i did hear one guy i can't remember his name sorry if you're watching he emailed me and said he actually took a regular 20s now there's a base that goes on the harley 20s and it has the microphone and it goes on the outside look at that a super chat from Walt Baby, unbelievable, $10 on this YouTube Live. He's donating $10 right here. He appreciates the content. You guys can super chat too. It's at the bottom. It's a little money sign. I appreciate that. As I've worked all day, I'm tired. I haven't eaten dinner. I think I'm going to try to take the wife to dinner here in a little bit. But okay, back to what I was talking about. We've manipulated it, but that 20S base, um, uh, that's really where it's at because the 20S slips and clicks on that so you can take your 20S to multiple helmets. He said he took a regular 20S and clicked it to that Harley 20S base and he did get stereo sound. So somewhere it's in there, but doesn't matter because you can't just buy the Harley 20S base. You have to buy the whole headset, okay? So just understand, guys. The other thing I want to tell you is, yes, the, 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 the whim will pair with my Senna 10U. It will pair with the Senna 20S. It will pair with Cardo systems, some Cardo systems. And I say pair. It will pair. It will give you full boombox integration. You can give voice commands. You can hear your turn by turn. You can take phone calls. You can give phone calls all wirelessly. It's awesome. It integrates, but you will not get stereo sound. So they will pair guys, but you're not going to get stereo sound again unless you buy that stamped one. Those are some of the things that I definitely want to tell you guys. There are some very specific techniques that you need to do to get the whim up and running and installed. Um, you need to update your software and all that kind of stuff. You will afterwards need to take your Harley and get it flashed. Harley-Davidson dealerships are the only ones that have the proprietary software to flash it so it recognizes that you've installed a whim. Of course, we film that and we show you exactly because not all dealerships know. We show you exactly. I filmed it on which boxes you need to check so you can use our video when I release it next week sometimes. Sometime if you do end up that you're just like, I have to have Harley everything and I'm okay with that and I have to have the whim you'll at least be able to watch the video and see which boxes we ticked with the digital technician proprietary software at the dealership. Um, and uh, you'll be able to, to get up and running. Also, just understand that a lot of dealerships are charging 
up to $60. And it took about, the actual flash took about seven seconds. Hooking it up took about a minute. And uh, they are charging for that. And that's uh, pretty common. We've been getting a lot of emails on that um, from you guys out there in the community. So don't you know, Senna really hates this. So here's the deal. Now that I've given you all that information, again, if you're going to get the whim, get it. I don't care. I still think uh, that the free wire is a better solution. We do sell the Senna free wire in our store, guys. I don't care if you buy the whim. I don't care how you spend your money. This is, I'm just telling you, what am I going to do? I'm going to tear the whim out. Um, I don't want it. I don't want a 20S. I want my 10U and I want it in my showy helmet. I'm going to continue. I'll link in the description below. If you want to get a free wire, go to our store page. There's videos there on it. It does everything that a whim does. Everything at a lesser price. And I get stereo sound with my 10U headset. So why would I want to switch to a whim? Again, I installed it for you guys. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip it out. I'll sell it on eBay. I don't care. Um, unless sometime down the road, De Devin Lumley, $10 super chat. You guys are awesome. Thank you so very much um, for those super chats. That's why I do what I do, guys, is you guys and the support in the community. So I'm going to tear it out. Get the free wire. The only caveat I will tell you, the only nice thing about the whim is one whim, you can run two HD stamped Senna headsets and you can have intercom and all that kind of stuff with the free wire. If you're going to have a passenger, you're going to have to have two free wires. So I, that's full disclosure guys, but I don't ride with a passenger usually and I don't need it. And I just go with the free wire. Again, I get that full stereo sound. The free wire has been out a very long time. Um, and so the technology is there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm tearing it out, but I'm still going to put the video out for you guys for, uh, that's what I want to do is help you guys. Um, here's my, what I believe. Um, a lot of guys are saying, I know guys are pissed at Santa and they're pissed at Harley. That's up to you. I'm not here to be biased. I'm here to give you the information. Um, I love Senna. I love Harley Davidson. I think they're both great companies. Um, I do believe, uh, in my opinion, that they could fix this through a software update. I really do. I, I, it's there. The Senna FreeWire works. The WIM and the, the HD. Steve Snappy, $5 Super Chat. You guys are awesome. Um, Senna FreeWire, some people are asking where to purchase it. Yeah, FreeWire gives full CB and the it works. Again, the FreeWire does everything the WIM does, guys, except you can use any headset pretty much and you can get stereo sound. So I don't understand the popularity of the WIM yet. Um, I don't think it's going to be that popular very long when videos like this come out unless they fix it. So I believe that Senna could fix it um, with a software update. I believe Harley could fix it with a software update so that we could all run our lovely 10Us and our 20Ss and all that. Are they going to do that? My guess is no, guys, and here's why. Um, again, this is just my opinion. You Comment below, have your opinions. Again, I'm, I'm trying to be unbiased. There's no incentive for Hardy Davidson to give us a software update so that the whim works with our regular Senna headsets. That would, put, that would put them at a position where they're trying to make money. Of course, they're trying to tax you guys. They want to sell their stamped headsets. They didn't make it so that we could take all our Senna headsets and have full stereo because then they would only be selling the whim and they wouldn't get that $60 dealer flash update and sell their headsets and all that. Again, completely my opinion, guys. Please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to give you guys the information and test this stuff. And uh, yeah, the Hardy tax, Jason Stanford, Jason Stanford, um, Walt Baby, Moco, um, thanks guys for being, we have a ton of viewers. This is awesome. I knew you guys wanted this information. So that's the facts guys on the whim. Again, look next week, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So you're notified. We're doing these videos for free for you guys, completely free. I even bought it so that I can install it. Hopefully I'll sell it on eBay and make some money back. Um, I'm not interested in it because if they ever change that in the future, I will link below this video. So if you're watching this in the future, check below. I'll say update, update, stereo sound or something like that. And I'll do a new video. I would not expect that guys. I just simply, I don't know what kind of contract Santa signed with Harley and all that kind of stuff. It gets really complicated. Um, but the no stereo sound was a deal breaker for me, but I will update my videos. And again, if you are sold on the women, that's just something that you want to have. I get it. Cool. Spend your money on it. I'm okay with that. We're going to give you the free video. Don't forget if you want to support us, all those super chats, guys, I appreciate that so much. Um, uh, supporting us and what we're doing. Cause you guys know, I got to go back to the Leo job, the full-time Leo job all week. I spend both days off. I'm I, I got to take the family to dinner here in a second. I got to get out of this house and for a little bit, and then I'll start editing the video later tonight. 
to get it out to you guys, you can become a patron member. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Thanks, Walt Baby says be safe. Um, um, and you can pledge a certain amount per video that we put out um, or podcast. You can put a monthly cap on it so that you don't go over your family budget. There's no risk, guys. You can get t-shirts and stickers. You can get into our private Facebook group, which is blowing up. It's the better forum than any forum on the internet, but it's private and you can only get in it. We want to keep it that way as members only. And then you can get our premium for purchase videos up on request if you're top tier. Again, the link in the description below. Um, if you guys want to become a member and become patron at minimum, at least subscribe to this channel, guys. We're going to keep pumping out the content. I hope this was very useful. Thank you, Rick Kremer. Kemner, I see. I know that name. You guys are amazing. You make it happen. I got to go out of here because I got to take my family to dinner at least and then come back, get in the studio and start editing this win video. A ton of other videos coming out, guys. I'm going to be pumping out the videos quick here in the next couple months. Peace out. Ride safe.